After you survive that second assault in what appears to be one day, because you don't know about the time scale from you being attacked to you getting up on your feet again, you bump into this old guy who happens to be the town chief. Anyway, um... So anyway, he goes, what if I went to this area, you know, I'd heard I can get a job. He goes, yeah, well, that's right. And he goes, well, do you have any jobs for me? And he goes, oh, you appear to be a ruler, so do you have any monsters? And he goes, yeah, no, I don't. At this point, the old guy does face palm you and go, what the fuck, dude? Seriously, you're a ruler and you don't have any monsters? And he goes, yeah, that's just something to get here. So he goes, okay, I'll give you some money and some seed. You have to prove yourself to me by defeating all the lowest ranking fighters in your monster arena. And you're like, uh, okay. And so he sends you off to your impending doom, not knowing how good you are. Because seriously, if you get killed in this game, that's it, you're dead. But hey, look on the bright side, if you actually pass this test and defeat these three bozos, you get a job. Wow, job applications have become a lot easier over the years, haven't they? Right then, so this is the hatching room. Um, I made a quick save before coming here because you've only got four seeds at the beginning and I don't really want to screw this up. So anyway, the guy says, yeah, you can use my hatching room, it's in the back, bro. And you're like, okay. And now comes the, one of the major parts of the games, creating monsters. Um, first of all, you have to pick a seed. Um, it's always good to read the description of the seed to find out, you know, what temperatures you should hatch your eggs at, because if you do it at the wrong temperature, you basically get a really crappy monster. Next up, you get a choice of solutions. Solutions basically increase the stats of your monsters. Your monsters don't level up as they fight. They stay the same strength regardless. So, if you really intend to make a really good monster, you have to pile a lot of solutions at him at the very beginning. Um, since this guy's going to be my offense type monster, I've decided to give him all the HP solution to make him incredibly tough. And I happen to get this weird metallic dinosaur thing. The two major things you should be looking at is cool and character. Cool basically determines how long it's going to take me to summon this thing out because you can't just throw down monsters willy nilly, it takes a while to summon them. Character is how the monster acts. Um, this is very important because while you can give demands to your monsters, you don't actually have direct control over them. This makes the game a very unique experience. Now, what am I going to name this guy? I know, I'll name him Kelzor! Yes! That's right! It is the mighty Kelzor! Seems I kind of get to grips with this fucking stupid thing. Right. Sorry, I kind of lost where I was actually supposed to press enter. Oh yeah, there it is. So anyway, the mighty Kelzor. Yes, I will hatch another. Now I know for a fact that each of these monsters, or each of these um, rulers that I have to fight, only hatch out one monster. So it's kind of beneficial for me to only hatch two seeds for the time being, and then keep the rest for later. Um, this one is actually going to be my magic user, so I'm going to give him all my MP uh, solution. I'm going to keep it at the same temperature too, because apparently... Uh, these eggs do really well on high temperatures. So anyway, what am I going to get? Wow, a giant barrel rolling floating pig. Awesome. Barrel rolling pigs, eh? Well, I know what I'm going to name this guy. I'm going to call him Git Force Gemini. If I can actually fucking uh, fit all that in. Come on. So yeah, anyway, this guy is more of a uh, mental attack type, um, so he'll be doing a lot of uh, magic and attacking the mental points of a monster as opposed to the health points. Yeah, in this game, not only can he be destroyed physically, but you can actually be killed mentally and become brain dead. Awesome! 
So yeah, now that I've made my two monsters, the mighty Kazor and Gitfush Jemmy, um, who is the Psycho Mantis of the floating pig world, I'm now head off into the arena. Eventually. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I've just chosen the first guy and let's get this underway. This is the real meat of the game now. This is where you're actually going to experience your first taste of an actual fight. The first thing I'll need to do is actually summon some monsters, so I'm going to do that right now. Everything in this game, including turning your character 90 degrees will use an action point. You get 9 action points. Summoning a monster I think only takes up one action point, I believe. Yeah, it only takes up one action point. So I can call up both of my monsters and run about a bit. I won't be able to attack because, well, basically I won't be able to get close enough to the enemy because I don't have enough action points. Anyway, but I do have to be careful. I shouldn't run too far ahead of my monsters because if I die, it's game over. I don't have any assist type monsters at the moment. Also, if any of my monsters die in this arena, they are dead. That's the thing about this game, once a monster dies, it's dead. That's it. You can't bring it back with some magical item. So it really makes you feel attached to your monsters. Also, over time they get older, to the, in fact they get so old that they die of old age and unleash some major final attack before um, disappearing. Um, so basically, even if you do have a good monster there's, and you keep using him, he's going to die of old age eventually. So if you do have a good monster, pro tip, only use him when you need it. Anyway, uh, the enemies summon this weird thing that actually casts fire magic, but I do my world famous rude dragon punch impression, and then Kelzor comes out to kick some ass. And he's all like, I'll kill the lot of you, <laughs> but you're going to have to wait till next turn before I do anything. Consider yourself lucky. So this other animal monster, which I won't even attempt to pronounce his name, basically sets me on fire. And this is probably the best bit of graphics you're going to find in the game. The actual magic spells don't look too bad. Like a ring of fire, etc. And your guys like, eh, not bad. Now Git Force is coming out. You won't attack this turn. He's going, go! I'm going to go wild on you! Brace yourself! He's going all That's Hulk Hogan on your ass. Oh snap! Hush my cynical mouth! He does attack this turn and he just goes up to him and fucking headbutts the guy. And his headbutt is so immense that it actually fucking overheats the guy and he's now got fever! So yeah, anyway, Kelzor, not one to be outdone by a giant floating pig, runs up to the monster and just fucking stands there. Okay. Now at this point I completely screw up by remembering how the minute he moved backwards to cast his stupid magic spell on me, so I move forward and then just fucking jaw the guy for being such a tool. Like so. My guy goes, yeah, have you got any last requests? And then just fucking jaws the guy, it's great. Anyway, the monster collapses on the ground and goes, Laugh! Laugh at my weakness! Ugh. Sorry, yeah, that was bad. Anyway, so after the melodramatic death scene, I decide to bravely, bravely step backwards and let my animals take all the fucking flak. But Kel, for his last turn, actually is blocking off the leader's kind of route to me, so he just stomach punches Kel to try and get him to move out of the way, and Kel's like, Dude, what are you doing? Seriously, you're weak. Then Gitfors Gemini is not having his buddy being beaten up, so he just fucking headbutts this guy and gives him a fever. Yes, he's like literally some kind of giant red pig of feverness, I guess. And after that, well, Kelzor goes, right, I've had enough. Take this final death blow. And he fucking bites him, but he doesn't kill him. And he goes, damn it, I didn't think that would hurt so bad. You know, being bitten by a giant metal dinosaur. And he goes, right, now take this death blow. And this one actually does kill him. He falls to the ground and he goes, well, this is all part of the warrior's fate. And dies. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your first ever proper fight on Monster Seed. I hope it's been entertaining for you. And um, next time you'll see me fight the other two... Arena fighters.
So I guess I'll see you guys around. Bye!